Hi, I'm Richard, chef and butcher at the Wild Meat Company based in Suffolk. We've been supplying game to all our customers across the UK for over 20 years now. We've created these recipe boxes using some of our favourite game dishes. In the box, you'll get all the ingredients you need, along with a handy step-by-step -step instruction card. Better yet, I'm here on your screen to cook along with you and guide the way. Let's cook. This is my quick and simple recipe for a pheasant going curry. We're incorporating beautiful Suffolk pheasant fillets with the aromatic flavours of goa. Your box is going to include these Suffolk pheasant fillets, some beautiful green beans, all your curry ingredients including some locally made curry paste and there's just some rice and aromatics there for serving. So we're going to start by preparing our pheasant. This pheasant, like all the other pheasant we use, is sourced from local farms and estates where they've been reared and then released into the wild to live off the woodland and the riverbanks and all across the countryside. Once the pheasant's been diced and seasoned, we're going to heat a tablespoon of veg oil on a high heat so we can begin to cook off the pheasant. So once a tablespoon of oil has been heated in a deep pan, you can add your pheasant. By browning off the pheasant, it enriches the flavour. So once the meat's browned off, we just pop it into a colander to allow oil to drain. And then we'll set it to one side until we need it again later. Now using the same pan, just return it to the heat. I've slightly reduced the heat down to medium. Then we can add a little bit more oil. I'm going to keep all those nice juices and brown bits that are left in the pan. And now we're going to add our spice mix. Even straight away, as soon as it hits the pan, you can already smell those lovely aromatic flavours. Once that curry paste is cooked out, we'll add the brown pheasant back into the pan and give it a good mix. This will just coat that pheasant in all that lovely curry paste. Now would be a good time to prep your green beans just by topping and tailing them and cutting them in half. We'll now add our chicken stock and coconut milk. Turn the heat up just to allow it to come up to temperature. And then you can always reduce it back down just to allow it to simmer for around 30 to 35 minutes. Now that's been left to simmer for around 15 minutes, it's time to add our green beans. Now the green beans are in, it's a great time to start cooking the rice with the aromatics. So now that's been cooking for around 30 to 35 minutes, that looks reduced enough. The sauce has got darker, a little bit thicker, the pheasant and green beans are cooked through. We're now ready to plate up. We're going to just pop it on top of our cooked rice. Get a good spoon there, the meat and the sauce. Beautiful. And we're just going to garnish it with a few picked coriander leaves there. Just to add to the flavour and the colour of the final dish. Thank you for purchasing the Wild Meat Company recipe box. I hope this has shown you how easy it is to cook game at home 